is up everyone tech me out here and i am delighted to be presenting to you the lg g4 so i was fortunate enough to get a review unit and i will be doing a review on this particular phone in the near future probably within the next week or two but in the meantime i wanted to give you my first impressions of this particular device so i did the unboxing of this on periscope so i'm not going to be doing that on my channel but for those of you that are curious in regards to what you get in the box you get the phone the battery and the charger that's really it now the particular model i have is the metallic gray one and i'm happy to say so far so good with the lg g4 just to kind of cover a few things about it that i've been enjoying the display being one it has a 5.5 inch quad hd display which looks gorgeous i love just even looking at the lock screen having these thin bezels and everything is a very nice change from my iphone 6 that i've been using as my daily driver so i really like that about this particular device it also has a slightly curved body so it feels better in the hand especially for it being such a bigger phone, it doesn't feel big at all. The only thing I do not like is with this particular back, to me, it feels kind of like, I don't want to say cheap, but that was my initial thought when I pulled it out the box, but it does have a somewhat dummy phone type of feel, if that makes any sense to you. I'm used to holding my iPhone 6, which feels to me premium. Even the Samsung Galaxy S6 feels premium, but this particular one, I wouldn't classify it as premium, not with this back. So I would want to switch the back out of this device to make it have more of a, I guess, solid feel in my hand. I, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling this particular one. There is a diamond pattern on the back where you can feel the inserts in the diamond pattern. I don't know if that matters to you or not, but if you're curious, yes, you can feel the indentions of the diamonds back there. Now, like I mentioned, the back of this device is removable and underneath the back of it you have a 3000 milliamp battery which is great in terms of getting all day usage you should have no problems there also and there is a micro sd card slot and your sim card slot so you don't have anything on the sides of the device nothing at all and that is largely because on the back as well are your buttons so this is a change for me but it's a change that i'm looking forward to enjoying and have been enjoying thus far and that's the placement of my home button and volume buttons that i'm used to being on the side of my device now being on the back of my device so so far it's been a pleasant transition sometimes i just have to remember to slide my finger back there because it's like second nature to touch on the sides of my phone but i like having them on the back of my device instead it does provide a better experience when i actually remember they're there now above your physical buttons here you have your camera which is a 16 megapixel shooter with the f 1.8 aperture and thus far the photos that i have taken have made my mouth drop like i found myself pretty impressed because lately i've just really been enjoying using my iPhone camera. So I'm really feeling that there. The pictures have came out great and they've been a beauty to look at on the screen. The one thing I have not liked thus far, and I don't think my opinion is going to change at all anytime, is this little speaker placement here. It's at the bottom of my device and it's facing the back. It's, it's a rear facing bottom speaker. And I often find my hand blocks it. So that's one thing I don't like about the phone. But other than that, I've been enjoying it. It has Android 5.1 Lollipop with the LG UI on top. And coming from a pretty much clean you know minimalistic interface on my iPhone I feel like this is a nice change I find that it basically does everything that I rooted my HTC device to do <laughs> I it rooted my HTC device to do a lot of these a lot of the things that this particular phone does out of the box so overall other than the build and the speaker I'm really enjoying the device but I will go in more detail in my review but I just wanted to give you pretty much a heads up in regards regards to my thoughts on this particular phone. Now to stay further updated on when this review will be up or anything in regards to my channel, check out my social sites because I do give a lot of insiders in reference to what I'm working on, what's coming up next on my Twitter page, on my Instagram page, or even Periscope. So definitely follow me on all three and you won't miss a thing. But other than that, that's really all I can think of. I think I forgot to mention the speaker and the charger at the bottom, but I think that kind of went without saying. But other than that, that is all I will be saying about this this particular phone before this turns into a full review <laughs> but thank you for watching and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out oh and by the way for those that care my site should be up and live by june 1st so stay tuned to my social sites like i mentioned stay tuned to my channel but definitely those social sites because i will probably announce it first there and that's where you can get all of your wallpapers hey all right y'all that's it for real much love